Continuing on from the story of the 2015 film of the same name, Turbo Kid follows the ongoing exploits of the titular comic-obsessed youth as he rides his BMX bike through a post-apocalyptic wasteland. Bailing out in the middle wastes, he is rescued by a young researcher who works in a small, self-sustaining settlement. The locals are friendly and happy to help the kid find what he needs to move on. But between the Wasteland gangs and their apparent connection to the machine-worshipping religion that dominates the settlement, there's clearly more going on. Turbo Kid is a Metroidvania, albeit one that's a bit more focused and combat-centered than they tend to be. The kid is armed with a blaster that he can charge and modify Mega Man style with additional shot types. His signature equipment, however, is his bicycle. Starting about an hour in, the player will be able to summon the bike at any time. While useful in exploring the game's truly massive maps, the bike is also used for racing and trick attack minigames, and is central to Turbo Kid's movement tech-focused boss fights. The middle wastes are remarkably detailed and even quite beautiful at times. As the kid explores the surrounding area, he'll encounter everything from drug-addled punks to scavengers who don't stop digging even when there's combat around them all with smooth animations and high-detail sprite work. This extends to the combat as well, and it's here I really should mention how gory this game gets, as the violence is very detailed as well. This is a game where the player can throw a severed head as a weapon and where a close-range kill can send the opponent's organs flying. The middle wastes aren't for those with weak stomachs. Overall, Turbo Kid is a fine Metroidvania with enough novel elements to catch anyone's eye, well worth considering if you have any fondness for platformers.